so as you can see right now I have the average sales average for each month of my data set and I use it this I use it copilot to create this extensive measure that's measure but instantaneously. Hi everyone, how do you hear once again for one more Power BI video and today I'd like to share with you how to activate Copilot on Power BI, okay? Also, I will give some tips to activate Copilot in Microsoft Fabric. Let's do it together. Guys, here are you seeing my Power BI screen? First of all, I will just upload some data i will use this sample data as always if you are following me here on youtube you always see that i use this one in order to help you to do the same steps than me okay with your own power bi so why i did it because once we update any data uh, to power bi we are able to use on home section this button quick measure when you click on quick measure you will see this option over here called suggestion with copilot okay sometimes this suggestion will not work why because the admin of your company need to do something i will help you to to configure it right now okay that's the purpose of this video to customize the suggestion with copilot you have just to go up here on file then click on settings let me see option and settings then option you will see a new screen on power bi this one then you have to go here to preview features yes preview features and then you have to check if the q and a are selected and also the others the other options okay especially this one quick measure suggestions okay because this quick measure suggestions means that power bi will run the suggestion with copilot okay just be careful to select this option okay quick measure suggestions once you do it you have just to restart your power bi but sometimes when you restart power bi you will not able to see the suggestion with copilot yet why because th there are two reasons to answer this issue okay the first reason it's because you are not signed in power bi so you have to sign it over here okay upright you have to sign in your power bi account and the second reason probably will be because your admin the admin of your power bi licensing in your company didn't enable you to use this so now i'm gonna show you how to fix this issue when you are the admin of the company okay if you are not the admin just send this video to them okay so you have me to increase my my channel here on youtube and also you will have the, the you will help the admin of your company okay so to go to admin portal you have to click in our name then view account then you will see Microsoft Fabric window. Now I'm on web, okay? I'm surfing on web. Once you are here on the Power BI Online Services, on in this case, Microsoft Fabric, you have to click on this icon, settings, then go down until admin portal. Okay? If you are not admin, you won't be able to see this. Once you click on admin portal, you see this screen. So we have to uh, go down in tenant settings. Okay, just be careful if the tenant settings are selected in your screen. Once you you check it in already selected, just go down over here on the right part until two sections we have to work to fix. The first one will be q a settings okay we have to go here and we have to disable okay q a settings this is something mandatory in order to use because sometimes if you are not on us you are in another another country this is mandatory for now okay guys because for now this function is working work priority in us but we can enable users from other countries to 
to use Copilot, but you have to disable QA settings. Then go down once again until this part, quick measure suggestions, and then allow these both options over here. Okay. Allow users to use natural language to generate suggested measure. As you saw on Power BI, we had the option quick measure suggestions. So here we have almost the same option, but this in admin sense. So enable, then your admin can either uh, enable entire organization or specific security groups. It's up to your admin. Then apply, but then click on this option, allow users data to leave their geography, uh, geography because in this case, we, we, we people, people from other countries will be able to use uh, Copilot as well. Okay. People who are not from us, as you can see over here. So just enable apply. Sometimes Power BI says 15 minutes until everyone be able to use it, but you can go back to your Power BI instantaneously. And then you will see that now suggestions with Copilot are able. Okay. We are allowed to use it. So once we have this, I'm going to show you guys how this quick measure works. So we can just click it here. I will just click with the right and open in a new pane in order to see both options. Uh, in Copilot, we can use natural language. Okay. For example, I want to know, I want to know uh, the sales average. from a uh, month name because I have this dimension over here month name and I have sales so this is what I need to know okay I want to know this then I click on generate and you will see that copilot just suggested some measures over here we are in the bow try selecting calculation okay something wrong with helping something wrong happening so i will just you could also try i want to know say a gross sales average okay gross sales average i'm gonna use this suggestion from copilot okay let's try something different okay i will just click it here and say give me give me the sales average per month name. Okay. Now it's right. Okay. From month name was incorrect. The sentence. So the copilot over here is not that much, uh, is smart because if you use it, for example, Bing chat, you will see that sometimes you make some mistakes with the words, but in general, the artificial intelligence understands you. Okay. In this case, under didn't understand me, but if I put it per month name, now I can see something over here, the preview value, but also I can use this measure guys in my project. So I just needed to click here on add button. Then power BI just include this measure to my data set, as you can see in the right uh, right session over here. I have this measure, but then I can just rename, for example, sales average, uh, per, per month name. And then I can just click it enter. Now I have the measure over here and now I can just use this measure. For example, sales average month name. And as you can see here, now I have the values, the values over here. I can just add more information, not zoom, but data labels. So as you can see right now, I have the average sales average for each month of my data set. And I use it this, I use it copilot to create this extensive measure 
DAX measure, but instantaneously. That's awesome, right? Guys, you see, it's really easy, it really simple to use Copilot in order to help us with measures on Power BI. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up, check if you're a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe right now. And if you have any doubts, just leave in the comment down below, okay? That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.